Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel um, and welcome if you're new here. So today's reading is no contact and um, what is happening with this person and will they reach out, okay? So for group one we have, um, this is a dog, yeah this is the dog, so it's the dog sleeping on the moon. <laughs> um, for group two we have the rabbit, you can see that. And for group three, we have the bear. Oh, he's so cute, that one. I'm so sad. Anyway, take what resonates, see what doesn't. I'm going to be very honest in these readings, okay, with whatever I see. Um, and I do energies as well, guys. So you need to take what resonates for you. And if it's not your pile, choose another pile. Um, and if it's not your story, if it's not in any of the piles, I do have a playlist with no contact. Anyway, I'll see you there. Hey group one, so if you chose the um, the dog, this is your reading. There, and let's see what card you got. Okay, so you got um, the loving woman and it's number six people. Okay, so this could involve a divine feminine. It doesn't have to be, remember I said in the intro, these can be energies. Um, it could be someone that is just more in tune with their feminine side, you know, whether they're, you know, whatever they resonate with. So, you know, this is, I'm picking up Empress Energy, okay, because look at, look at the fruit surrounding her. She's in nature as well. You know, she's got the little, oh, that's funny that, dog with a dog. Uh, so this could be a friend, guys, because you chose the dog. That is the dog, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm losing the plot here, guys. And then we have a dog here, all right, it's a wolf, but same sort of thing. Um... So this could actually be a friend that you may not have heard from in a while. I just heard friends with benefits as well. I don't know why. <laughs> so, but anyway, you know, it may not be a friend. You've got to take what resonates. This could be a mother. Um, or it just could be a divine feminine that you, you know, or someone who had the traits of divine feminine where... This person was very, very loving, very kind, very, um, very giving, very loyal. Just a beautiful energy. I don't know why that's come through as well. I just heard, what did you do, group one? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not pointing fingers. Hmm. There's sadness around in this pile. So let's have a look. Okay, tell me into group one, please, spirit, and tell me why has there been no contact? Why has there been no contact from this loving woman? Use that energy there. So, oh, two of wands in reverse. Okay. Okay. So this person's fearful of change maybe they're fearful of, of going back to the way it used to be guys with this two of wands in reverse they're very indecide um undecided you know when you when you can't decide what you want to do because they fear things changing or going back to the way it used to be tell me more about this two of wands in reverse Okay, this. Tell me more, but it's two ones in reverse and seven of swords. Hmm. Oh, hang on. We've got another one. Oh, we've got another few. Okay, you could have gone for a divorce with this person. So this person could have been your spouse, okay, or your partner. You could have separated from them. Um, you could have just had a disagreement, a breakup. It, you know, you've got to take what resonates with you. It doesn't always have to be a love reading, okay? But I'm seeing here that this is someone who is avoiding facing you, okay? So with the Seven of Swords, there could be someone that's lying, stealing, cheating, trying to get away with something. So maybe this person may have spread some rumours about you, may have lied on you, may have twisted the truth to other people. 
So now they've got themselves stuck in a situation where they feel that even though they want to come back, they want to communicate, it's like their hands are tied, guys. If you look at this here, his hands are actually tied. He's got a really nice bum as well. I don't know whether I should cover that up. No, it's just a bum. I'll take a chance. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a perp on the uh, tarot cards. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, stop looking at that. So anyway, um, maybe this person had a nice backside. You never know. So yeah, this person's hands are tied. They've got themselves in a situation where they'd rather avoid it than come back and face the truth, face you here with justice. Now, this is actually quite a sad situation. I do feel like they have lied about you. They were being two-faced is what I'm hearing. So, you know, guys, this loving woman could actually be your energy here. That's what I'm picking up quite strongly now. Seeing this energy to that energy, no. Because you are somebody who is very forgiving. You would forgive this person, even though they've deeply wounded you. The Empress is very forgiving. Okay, not always. You have to push the Empress far to, to be, you know, for the Empress to then turn around and say, you know what, I don't, I'm sorry, I can't move forward with this. So this is what eats them up. This is what keeps plaguing them. You know, we've got swords here. They know that they did you wrong and it's like they can't seem to avoid, they can't avoid this. You could keep running, you can keep trying to avoid it, but you know, your your memories are there, those those thoughts are still there of what you did. Now justice it could be talking about fairness, okay, making things right, doing the right thing and apologizing. It's also an injustice. This person stabbed you in the back when you showed love and loyalty to this person. So now they're stuck in a situation where they feel like they can't come forward. If they do, they're going to have to do it in a sneaky manner as well. Why you want to do it in a sneaky manner? What is going on here? I'm talking to the energy, guys. <laughs> um, this person is uh, has experienced such deep pain from this loss of losing you and not having any contact with you, not being able to turn to you. I feel like you were there for all their woes. You were like, like the agony aunt or the agony uncle. Do you get me? They would come to you with anything. You were their support system. And this person feels that pain of not having you there. So we do have Libra energy, but this is what's, this, this is what's important here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Okay, five. Um, five of... Uh, this is like shame. Shame. They're stuck in a situation here, you know. They've sacrificed you for what? This energy has been a bit difficult in coming forth and telling me what what it is that they did um but they they left you out in the cold i feel like this person may have even just ghosted you they don't they, they just cut contact with you um instead of i don't know let me ask spirit what is happening what is happening? What is going on here? Give me a clear message. Oh my God, my nails are broken and they are so sore. So I've got to be careful. I don't bend it anymore. Tell me. It's like, literally, they threw you under the bus here. Hangman is all about self-sacrifice as well as, you know, sacrificing someone else. Their mental health is not great at the moment. They're in a very... They're very lonely. So even though they may have people around them, they are experiencing this loss, this coldness, this distance between both of you. So come on, Spirit, tell me what is happening with this energy here. Okay, we've got the eight of coins. So they're working on themselves or on work. What is happening with this eight of coins? Wow, Empress. Look at that. Tell me more. The chariot. The six of swords. 
they're working to become a better person more like you i feel like there is admiration here for you guys okay they they yeah they look they're working hard with their you know with their job their career whatever but they're also working very hard on becoming more like you I feel like that this this energy is um it's quite sad really there's embarrassment here shame they want to change the, the chariot is all about changing direction changing you know moving forward um and that's what i'm seeing here they're working on becoming a better person more of the empress energy here more understanding and this could be what's happening is they are now understanding what they did to you and what they may have said to you how they acted that's what i'm seeing there's a big transformation here within this person they are trying to make their life a lot easier here you know um you know things are very calm for this person at the moment but but their mind i feel like they're just plodding along though like life doesn't have meaning to this person Why are they avoiding contacting group one spirit? What, what is this avoiding? Five of wands, knight of cups, the wheel of fortune, the four of wands. It could be their partner. It could be a family member that's stopping them um, from coming forward. Because the five of wands is is outside influences, okay? Getting involved in something that you you shouldn't be getting involved with, you know, people coming at you, talking at you, confusing you. Um, it's too many people involved in this situation not i don't feel like you're you're even aware you know look like some of you may be aware of of another party or parties that that is getting in the way of this person making up their own mind it's like they don't have their own mind here they're confused this could be an internal battle as well um But I'm seeing a Knight of Cups here that is manipulating. This is a karmic, okay? I'm getting this very strongly here from this Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups is usually someone who is very charming, you know, loving, caring, loyal. But I'm seeing this Knight of Cups in a bit of a negative, like, way. It's, um... I'm hearing this person tell this person that you group one don't love this person you need to withdraw from this person you're not you shouldn't reach out to this person this this is actually kind of messed up it could be their partner it could be a family member because we do have the four of wands here and they are trying to mess with this person's true path okay oh, let's, hang on hang on we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, group one. Tell me about this. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I think I said that, and we have Libra. Um, oh, and we have Cancer as well. Tell me about um, this Knight of Cups and this Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Wands. Look, look, literally what I just said. This is a communication card, okay? This is taking action. But every time this person wants to take action towards you, wants to communicate with you, they feel stuck. They feel like they're going to sacrifice this here, so the relationship with whoever this is or the friendship or whatever, to, to come forward and, and make a make a fresh start with you okay start a relationship with you again build things back up again so they feel like they feel stuck and 
they're not looking at it in in the right way that they uh, should be looking at it. Um, whoever this is makes this person feel guilty with judgment. They start feeling guilt. It's like they're being pulled in, in two different directions, even though group one, you're not even saying anything to this person. You don't need to. Your energy is already pulling on this person. Whatever they did to you, they should live with that guilt, okay? That's not your problem. And an apology goes a long way, you know. But this energy here is so broken hearted by this seeing this now that they're break they're literally breaking their own heart here. They're trying to make sense of this, uh, you know, or trying to find like a, a back door. Yeah, a back door, you know, when you're trying to find a way in without upsetting other people in the process. But really, this person should be selfless, really. Oh, actually, not selfless, selfish. So I feel like they go to text you or they go to message you or something like that, group one, and it's like they just don't seem to, they don't seem to send it. So this is literally what's preventing this person from coming forward. So let's have a look. Will they reach out to group one in the future spirit? Is there a possibility? Queen of coins, the page of wands, which is communication, strength. And the Eight of Swords. And the Emperor. That Six of Wands. Keeps coming out. Look, I see a possibility of communication in the future, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who has got their shit together, okay? They've become more independent and self you know, they think for themselves. Um, this is like a leadership role. This energy didn't, just needs to get a bit more grounded. We do have the page of wands, which page of wands is all about communication, messages, you know, emails, that kind of thing, phone calls. Um, and they will find the courage. They will find the courage to reach out. But this, this, they're so fearful here. This, this Eight of Swords could prevent them. So I see them wanting to do it, wanting to reach out, but then this Eight of Swords sneaks in. Like, this is self-limiting beliefs, okay? This is putting restrictions on yourselves, not believing that, you know, that this is the right thing to do or will Group 1 reject me, you know. Um, it's, it's being in your head. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Maybe this is what they're overcoming actually here. This is what they are going to actually overcome. I'm seeing that quite clearly now. So basically where they've been in this Eight of Swords of um, feeling trapped, um, being in their head, overthinking everything, they're going to overcome this with strength. But let me clarify. So tell me about strength and the Eight of Swords. Oh my God. Yeah, look. Love. Communication. There you go. You got, yeah, there's your answer. Finally, finding clarity on the situation here with judgment because they're exhausted, you know, they're just so fed up, they're heartbroken by not having you in their life. Um, and that's what is going to be sh like shown to this person is that. You can put your tower back together, basically. You can build that back up. Um, there could be something here that... Could be something to do with shatter shattering this illusion. That whatever hold this person has over this other person. Um, but look, Ace of Cups is about a reconciliation, okay? And love and commitment. Um, and forgiveness as well. The Ace of Swords is also speaks about truth, 
you know, it's, it's, a, it's communication and speaking your truth, being honest. And this may be a really big shock to you as well when this happens, group one, because the tower is a sudden, sudden, something sudden, something unexpected, something coming out of the blue here. And they may bring clarity to the situation. Maybe you've been confused about why is this person not, you know, I didn't do anything here. Because I really don't see you did anything here. What, what, what's the, I'm going to ask because I'm a nosy bugger. What did group one do to this person? Oh, what are you doing in there? Look at that, four of swords, not supposed to be in here. Exhaustion, mental exhaustion. You haven't seen this person or spoken to this person in a long while as well. What did group one do? The Ace of Wands, the Emperor. This Six of Wands has come out three times. I know what you did. Yeah, you did. You took charge. Okay, we've got Emperor, we've got the, the Six of Wands. You took charge of a situation with this person, okay? You closed the door on this person. Something may have... They may have... They, how can I explain this? This person may have been very manipulative or very childish at times, you know? And... Maybe it just got to the stage where this person was selfish. But you knew it had to come to an end. There's something here you took charge of this situation. This could actually be a child of yours as well. You know, with this Ace of Wands here, I'm literally seeing you whacking this person with some home truths. <laughs> Not literally, but just literally, I'm seeing this image of you whacking this person with this wand and speaking your truth. And it got very passionate here. It got very, it got, it was explosive. Okay, maybe tempers were were going at the time, um, and you lost a bit of control. But this energy didn't recognise how much you actually did for them. It's not about what you did for them anyway. It's that you being there for them, you know. And you knew this had to stop. This had to, this, yeah, the world, it had to stop. But I do want to clarify the Six of Wands because it keeps coming out. Tell me about the Six of Wands. What is this? What did they do? What did Group One do? I don't think you did anything, Group One. I just feel like you spoke your bloody truth and literally it got a bit, you know... Got a bit explosive. I'll do that again. Talk about six of wands. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. No, you. Okay. What has this got to do with them? This is your relationship. This was a relationship that you had with somebody and there may have been a separation at the time but then you may have renewed the relationship the connection and this energy feels like you put your partner before them i'm really picking up this is this is a child because you chose your partner because we do have the empress and the emperor here This is where the problem lies, is this lover's card right here, is is your connection with the person that you're with. They don't, they didn't like it. What was, tell me more about the Six of Wands and the lovers. <clears throat> tell me more about Six of Wands and the lovers. Yeah, Knight of Coins. You'd been with this person for a very long time, and this is the second time this has come out as well. Um... That's the Nine of Cups in reverse. And that, there's the Nine of Swords. You'd been, you've been with this person for a very long time, okay? And things may have got a bit rocky for a while. 
and you experience some kind of devastation some there was some devastation here with your partner a lot of sleepless nights a lot of stress a lot of worry um there may have even been a separation like i said for a little while and you decided to give it another go here and this is what the problem is with this person they do not like the fact that you chose someone else over them but that's not the case you wasn't choosing somebody else over them you were choosing your partner you were choosing to forgive you were choosing to work on it and this person can't couldn't quite grasp that at the time group one and there's you know it, it's actually kind of sad so your your relationship is on blast that could be what the lies have been told about you and there's, there's a lot of gossip here about your relationship and you as a person. This is really, really sad. And I feel like that's where the shame comes into it here is because they did not understand at the time. So we do have Gemini, we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whatever. Um. So yeah, oh. Oh dear. So, I really don't know what to get for these oracle cards because let me get these because this is it's not really a love reading. Um, but let's see, it can be a love reading, but you know, tell me more why this person is in no contact with group one. Fear. I felt things were moving too fast and I panicked. I wasn't in a space to handle anything heavy and this could be the thing because I'm not going by it. This, you know, you can take it as a love reading group one. It's up to you. But I'm seeing this as this person saying that maybe things got a bit hectic and things started moving very, very quickly with, with problems with your relationship, maybe separation, whatever. Um, and this person didn't know how to handle it. Insecurity. I thought you were too. You were involved with someone else. I didn't want to compete for your love. There you go. This is where it comes from. Insecurity with this person because they felt like that you you were more invested with your partner when really that's not how it works. Unavailable. I'm emotionally attached to someone else. I didn't know how to tell you, and that's the thing. I feel like there was someone in this person's ear. Um, I still think someone's in their ear as well. They feel like if they were to come back, they feel stupid. I can't give you what you want right now. I'm having too much fun partying. Okay, that's good for you if you're going out partying. Oh, bear with me, guys. So, so I'm talking to myself because your reading's a bit different. I did pull out a load of oracle cards, but there they are. Yours is a bit different, so I need some bit different. So let's get some advice here from spirit as well. That no contact here, spirit. Let's get you a couple. Not that many. <laughs> Make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. Wow. You need to know your worth even when others don't. You are not what people think of you. This is the thing. This is what makes me very angry about this reading. I am. I am. I feel really annoyed. Um, they, they spilled a lot of lies. A lot of lies. Sit in silence for a moment and listen. The answers you have been seeking are finally coming to you. Truly trust and believe that you are going to make it and be exactly where you need to be. We are on this journey with you. Hang in there. It's not much longer. Yeah, I do feel like you do really feel the distance and the separation with this person, Group 1. There is a lot that has been lost here for you anyway. 
you know, because I do feel like you really did love this person. Um, but this energy didn't show you the same respect, you know. Yeah, they didn't. It's very sad. What else about this no contact? Secrets behind your back. Wow, hidden feelings, unknown. And that's the thing. Hopefully this person will eventually come forward and tell you the truth. You know, maybe they're embarrassed that someone got in their head and convinced them otherwise about you. But this is what they were doing. They were going behind your back. And I feel like they were gossiping about you behind your back. But they, they're hiding their feelings. Of how they truly feel with other people and um, boundaries hold your space be firm know your limits yeah maybe there was no boundaries at the time you know transition adapting to circumstances sudden shift and quantum leap so yeah i do feel like there is going to be a sudden shift here with that tower decisions many choices best options think it through and that's what they're doing they are thinking it through they're looking at the options here they're trying to make the best choice for everybody but they've got themselves in a position here because look group one if you were to go and start telling people how say for instance i'm talking about you group one and i go and tell people oh my god group one such a a-hole you know they're all about this and that money hung whatever okay but then you turn around and start having a friendship or a connection with this person. People are literally going to be looking at you thinking, hang on a minute, what the hell? And it can start up a bigger war, if you know what I mean. It can start up, like it's like opening a can of worms and more people getting involved, wanting to know what the hell. And this is what I feel like this, this person has got themselves into this position here, this situation here where they've told people that you are an ogre, okay? <laughs> when technically you're not i feel like this person plays on people's sympathies here wanting people to feel sorry for them they've got themselves stuck in a stupid situation here well it's not stupid but they got themselves stuck in this situation holy moly let's get you some uh of these messages as well but so more about the no contact situation please spirit Here. Look, karmic. I'm finished. Wow. I'm going to put this in order. Give me a minute, please. Yeah, they are in order. Okay. So we've got online, being active on social media, strong social media presence, influences, email, online dating, online business. So guys, you could have something online and they may be looking at this online, okay, watching you on social media. Um, we've got anger, you feel you've been wronged, arguments, disagreements, temper, ego clash, pent up anger. And this is the thing I still believe because I feel so angry right now. I feel that's your energy to the point of, you can't believe the audacity of this person or how this person could have treated you when you've done nothing but show them love and kindness and support and you know you you i've even got goosebumps saying that so yeah this is you were wronged this is justified okay and then you've got potential new business requiring hard work ideas have potential for growth your investment paying off a stable business that is steadily growing so guys you could just literally be just concentrating on your own coin you know you're just getting on with your own thing here i feel like you're in the mindset you know if this person wants to come back and talk to me they know where i am and then you've got unfinished leaving things unfinished trying to tie up loose ends things left unresolved see things through and this is a problem this is why i feel like this keeps playing on your mind and maybe their mind is because it is unfinished there's still a lot to be said here and it hasn't been said and then you've got karmic cycle settling scores in the in this life karmic relationships karmic patterns negative cycles personal growth and that's what i feel like you're doing group one you're literally realizing the karmic you're realizing who you need to be cutting out of your life i've done that in the last three years it's time to clear out the karmics 
I'd rather be alone than unhappy. That's my motto. And as Whitney Houston said it as well, what was that song? That's just come to me. Um, it ain't right. Oh, the one where she says, leave your keys. Um, I can't sing it because we can get actually get done for copyright. But anyway, she has a line in her song that says, I'd rather be alone than unhappy. So, passion. Lustful desire, sexual connection with someone, new passion in life, active sex life. Um, you know, you may have, you know, like I said, you may have renewed uh, something here with someone and you found that spark, that passion again in life, well, in this relationship with this person and they didn't like that, okay? But then again, this could, it doesn't have to be passionate in a sexual sense. It can just be that it's very fiery, you know? Maybe when you two come together, it's going to be quite passionate as well. You can take it as a love relationship. Let's get you some tea leaf cards. So, any advice here as well? What's to come here, Spirit? Group one. More about this yeah. dragon. Beware of self-delusion. Okay. Hmm. Be careful with this energy, okay? Because, you know, I feel like you may be deluding yourself here because you want this so much. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. I feel like this energy, this is what I'm saying, this person is going to take a chance here, guys. Um, rat, oh, wow, someone is working against you behind your back. This is what I'm saying. This energy that is in this person's ear is a rat. I want to clarify that. Seahorse, family matters. This is a family member, guys. Camel, persevere and you will overcome your problems. Let me just check this quickly. Who is this rat? Uh, I already am saying it's a family member. Hang on a minute. The one that's in this person's ear. Tell me about this rat. Wow. Full in reverse. Oh my goodness. And the high priestess in reverse. Oh my goodness. This is someone that is maybe very immature. Okay can be very reckless, can be, um, how can I explain it, naive. And I feel like that's the energy of the person you know, but then you've got the high priestess in reverse here, which is this someone who's very clever. This is someone who um, is blocking somebody, blocking from Blocking them from using their intuition, their gut. Blocking them from seeing the signs from the universe and seeing the signs from spirit here. This, this is someone who literally knows that this person is, you know, sorry to say, young and dumb. This, this energy here, this rat group one, is what's holding this energy back from coming forward. And until this person wakes up and sees what this person is doing, they're not going to be able, they're not going to move forward. I do see them breaking free. I do see them finally realizing the destruction that this person has has caused them. But they are partly to blame as well. So we're not all pointing fingers at this rat here. We're pointing fingers at both people, both parties. Seriously. Let's get an angel number for you guys. So angel number for group one. Who's around them in time of this reading, please, spirit? We're going for 11, 11. That was the first one that turned over. Oh my God, I can't even put them back. So you've got angel of joy, Sophiel. Sophiel brings infectious joy, celebrate life's blessings, big and small, and spread this elation, the elation you feel with gratitude in your heart. Celebration, elation, and gratitude. And this is like Google the 1111, okay, because that's a beautiful number. Um, 
So you could be celebrating something here. Hopefully it's to do with this person finally coming forward and seeing the error of their ways. So question time, guys. Um, any question you want? Oh, itchy nose. An itchy nose means a surprise. So you could be getting a surprise. Um, so for group one, please, spirit. Oh, hang on. Hmm. next month you will break free very soon you are entering a new phase of your life and it's filled with joy quiet time spend quiet time alone to freely and honestly examine your life yeah it could be maybe have some quiet time because things are going to get a bit hectic here next month group one so spend some time alone um so anyway my loves thank you so much for staying and watching i really appreciate you all and if you're new here please consider subscribing i really love to have you um, and if you like this reading, give it a thumbs up, guys, because it really does help the channel. Anyway, wherever you are, guys, have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey, group two. So if you chose the rabbit, this is your reading. So let's see what card you've got. So you've got intention, playing it safe. Hmm. So obviously with this energy here, why you've not had any contact with this person is because they are playing it safe. Hmm. Let's have a look. I don't know. I'm getting quite strongly that this person may already be with someone else, group two. Let's see. Oh my god, I keep dropping that bloody thing. Hang on. It's <laughs> not the second time. Okay. So, for group two, please, Spirit, tell me. Um, why has there been no contact from this person for group two? I feel like this person lives in their head as well. Like, what if, you know, like daydreaming quite a lot as well. You know, and if you look at this card, you see the fireworks in the background. And that is why I feel like this person is playing it safe. Uh, you know, ultimately got they might be already involved with somebody else here. You know, if this is a love reading or there's other people that is involved. Um, because, you know, fireworks, explosion, isn't it? You, they don't want maybe their life to be disrupted. They don't want the drama. So let's have a look toxic which is number 15 that's the devil energy um and then we've got the good luck charm number 10 which is the wheel of fortune um so we've got it says be cautious of those who who take more than they give exactly if nothing seems to be going your way cast a spell not literally guys okay it's just the cards are saying that um what's on the back of the deck oh my goodness this frees a crowd that's what I just literally heard. Ten of cups, freeze a crowd. And this is the thing. Um, literally that first card that came out, be cautious of who takes more than they give. I do feel like you may have got involved with somebody who was already in a commitment group too i am very honest i'm going to tell you this maybe you didn't know maybe you had an inkling and you know maybe they started something up with you and then just literally just ghosted you blocked you like it's not explained anything to you um maybe this is why you're just not understanding what's going wrong what went wrong we have the ten of cups here as well which speaks of um family commitment this is why they had to walk away three of cups free the crowd okay yeah this person's already involved with someone else you know they may have taken you out on a couple of dates you may have had a good time with this person um but that's all it was so yeah they had to walk away because i have a commitment elsewhere um 
and this is why you've had no contact with this person because they do not want to cause drama this person is very clever okay they're very manipulative they like you know they, they it's like mind games here group two they they you know with the devil energy here this is someone who may have sex addictions okay could be you know, like a serial cheater or that kind of thing um This is not a good energy, you know, and you may have actually had a lucky escape because we do have the ten of uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune speaks of good luck. And this could actually be a karmic here. You know, this this person end up could end up bringing about a lot of bad luck for you. So I feel like Spirit stepped in here to, to get you away from this person. You know, you may actually work with this person as well. The spirit is saying there's something more better out there for you, something that's more solid, okay, that you can build something with someone else. It's not this person. They've already built something with their, the person that they're with. So we do have Capricorn energy. What is happening? So we're doing no why no contact? What is happening? And will they reach out? So what is happening with this energy here for group two? Please, spirit. I mean, there's no point in going any further with why there's no contact here because we can see why there's no contact here. They could actually be in a toxic relationship themselves, you know. Um, I wouldn't trust this person as far as I could throw them with the devil energy. This is someone who's very manipulative. What is happening with this energy here, please, Spirit? What's going on with them? Eight of Swords on the back of the deck. So we have the Ace of Wands. Knight of Wands. <laughs> okay. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, the Three of Wands. Look at Angel number 333, three, three, Page of Wands, and Eight of Swords on the back of the deck. Wow, what is going on with them? <sighs> this energy, okay, is trying to put a spark back into... Um, their relationship even though they don't actually want it it's like they're faking it they're forcing it here it's like they feel very trapped but look at this card here like you know knight of wands okay is very promiscuous they put it about they think with their wands okay they don't really, you can't really rely on them to be someone that, you know, you can't rely on this person to be in a committed relationship because they don't really have that staying power when it comes to commitment. They don't know how to commit to one person. Now, this, this person is actually sneaking out the window. And they have a candle lit here and there's a candle here as well. So it's like, I have a torch for somebody else here and I'm going to go sneaking around with somebody else here. And I feel like this is, they're either doing, still doing this with somebody else. Because the wand, the ace of wands could be a person's appendage, you know, that kind of thing where they think with that. Um, but I see this energy, you know, it says to bend the rules a little. And this is, this is someone who takes risks. They don't think about the consequences. So I feel like this person literally manipulated you and lied to you here and they're trying to work things on their marriage here or or whatever it is that they're in whoever they're involved with but they're not fully committed they've got one leg in one leg out and this person is very selfish where they they literally only think of themselves they don't think of other people they don't think about what they're doing to you they didn't yeah literally they don't think about what they're doing to you or their partner or other people 
it's like they want it their way or it's it, you know or it's no way basically they'll have their fun and then they'll come back to their partner and then they'll they'll i feel ugh, i'm hearing love bombing it's kind of creepy this person is lost this person feels like there is something missing in their life and they're looking for it in the wrong ways here you know their marriage may actually be or their partner it may be a loveless marriage I feel like this is why they they step out of the connection it's no excuse but you know I'm seeing that here I do see this person feeling bad that they had to reject you you know because they still hold a candle for you here there's still this this flame that this passion that they still have for you here and they do miss you as well. I don't know though. I see them waiting for the right opportunity to maybe approach you here and communicate with the Page of Wands. Person can't stop thinking about you. Look how stressed out this this witch is. You know, they're in huge regret that they had to reject you here. And it's the way they did it. You know, they've left you waiting. They've left you hanging. I really do believe this person ghosted you, group two. They just did not. They're, they're too chicken shit, sorry. But I don't believe they are the... You are the first person they've done this to. And you will not be the last that they do this to. So we do have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius strong fire sign in this reading okay will they reach out to group uh two please for it justice okay tell me about justice will they reach out will they reach out six of wands Tell me more about justice in the six of wands. Temperance and the king of pentacles. I feel like this energy is blocked from reaching you group two because we've got judgment here okay it's saying that you're supposed to, this is where you're supposed to be this is where this energy is supposed to be as well justice is about, is about fairness doing the right thing okay um and it's also you know this is very funny it says stick to your truth and everything will turn out fine so what spirit is saying here is you need to be true to yourself group two you know, is this what you really want? Like breadcrumbs? This person is already committed to somebody else here with the King of Pentacles. You know, this could be a father, mother, their energies, okay? Um, they've got responsibilities. But what I'm seeing here is this person is like sticking to, sticking to their story. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, they're sticking to their story and... and yeah that, oh my god i dropped it again i'll give up i'll leave it down there but i do feel like this energy does watch you okay because that card there the six of one says that you are a big deal they just can't seem to get you out of their head this energy as well is is like basically Trying to do the right thing by you and trying to do the right thing by their family. So I feel like this energy here group two would rather just look at you from afar and not say anything. They do recognise that you do deserve an apology. They should be making things right with you. But I feel like I'm saying this energy is a chicken shit. We've got Libra, we've got Sagittarius as well, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this person's a, like, I wouldn't hold my breath. This 
Spirit wants you to build something with someone else here, not, not with this energy, okay? Let's have a look. Tell me more. Why no contact from this person? Group two, please, Spirit. Let's get a few. No contact. Oh, you can, no, no. Let's get one more, or two more, please, Spirit. Why no contact? Okay. Oh my God, my nails are like just, oh. Hang on, guys. My nails are in a right bad state again. Right. Circumstances. I had a lot of responsibilities. I didn't mean to ghost you. I'm afraid to contact you now and be rejected. No, no sharp a-hole. Sorry. <laughs> That's an excuse at the bottom there. This is, yes, you do have a lot of responsibilities because you're already in a commitment with somebody else here. And I said at the beginning, this person, I feel like just ghosted you. You didn't even, they just cut you off. And that's so cruel. But this is, this. I'm afraid to contact you now and be rejected. No, this is the manipulation tactics. This is the devil energy that's coming through, trying to twist it to make you feel a bit sorry for them. You know, that kind of thing. It's not that you will reject them. Maybe you would because you know the truth and you'd be like, no, I'm not putting myself in that position in that situation but they are afraid to contact you because they don't want it getting out by the looks of it i lost track of all my budding relationships they got distracted okay if you say so differences honestly i forgot to respond nothing personal but i feel you were a little more invested than me exactly and that is the problem group two this is the this is the thing here's here's their true character coming out now okay the true energy here they were not invested because they already had somebody um and they strung you along i hate people like this i really do you know when you just want to punch them on the nose um or even flick them on the nose but anyway so, you know, this, honestly, I forgot to respond. No, so they may leave, may have left you actually hanging, you know. You may have texted them and then you didn't hear from them for a couple of days and it would be like, what the hell? Because they couldn't. Fear, my past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again. I feared you were too good to be true. Oh, sure. Honestly. Narcissism, I thought the grass was greener on the other side. And don't we all think that? Immature. I'm stubborn. I'm set in my ways. I ran because I couldn't have it my way. I fear not being in control. You know, maybe you started questioning this person. Maybe you started getting suspicious. Maybe you did find out about this person having a, a ready-made family, okay? And you pulled them up on it and they ran. Pessimism. I feel like I would never meet your expectations. Oh. So tell me more about this this energy here and no contact for group two, please, spirit. Tell me more, please, spirit. Okay. Bad motives using you to they only need you when they need something. And can you see the picture in the, the the image on the card? Yeah. They do not like like losing control due to fears of getting hurt. So, no. Cheating. The opportunities. This cheating heart will have sex with anyone that is willing. And that is the energy that I am picking up on. Cheating. Fetish craving, they're about having their one specific fetish sexual act. They are trying to control you because they don't trust you. Yeah, I feel like this person was trying to control everything, you know, because not that they didn't trust you, they didn't they didn't trust the truth to come out. You see, look, this this guy, the puppet master, you know, he pulled your strings 
or she pulled your strings or they pulled your strings, whatever you resonate with, you know. <sighs> Cheating, there's heavy flirting via text or sexting taking place perhaps even more. So, you know, this person could actually already be on to the next conquest group too. And like I said, I am very brutally honest. I know it's upsetting for you, you know, if some of you didn't know about this, but, you know, how 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 can you say it? it's it, this this energy is awful I mean, if you can see my freaking face <laughs> it's all screwed up like there's a bad smell right now oh so tell me more about this uh, no contact with group two can't be trusted ow I love you, I love you more than I ever found a way to say it to you. And I do feel like this person did catch feelings, group two, I do. Because there is that card there that says that, um, how much they mean to you, or how much you mean to them. Uh, control, there's that control again. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me. Control issues, and that is the devil energy. Telepathic, I close my eyes and speak to you in a hundred silent ways. So, there could be a telepathic communication here with this person. Um, be a bit careful as well because that second card there said about cast a spell. So, be careful, protect that energy of yours, group two. So tell me more about this energy with no contact for group two, please. Not for you. I love our spirits, just brutally honest and blunt. No escape. It doesn't matter how far I run, my heart always runs back to you. Now, this could be an ongoing thing. You know, one minute they ghost you, next minute they're back, then they ghost you, then they're back. Because the Knight of Wands is an in and out energy group, too. You know, they just doesn't, they don't. Oh, whatever. So let's get you some messages as well, guys. Let's see this. God, okay, we'll take them. Jesus, there's loads. Okay, Spirit obviously wants you to hear this, so we're going to do it. Get outside. Spending more time in nature will help you take the pressure off love and remind you that life is beautiful even in gloomy days. So, you know, you could be shutting yourself away, not going out, not enjoying your friendships. False cravings, don't let it get out of control. Emotional eating will not help make peace with your internal distress. Heal your triggers. Okay, so this could have really triggered you, group two. You could, you know, turn to food for, you know, for triggers. We all have our triggers and we all have our coping mechanism with those triggers when they're set off, okay? Um, mine is I can't eat. So some of you could, you know turn to alcohol or the fun stuff or food or not eat you know look after yourselves okay guys um angel messages pay attention and observe what is happening within and around you your angels are sending you messages and signs yeah you know maybe you were getting the messages and signs when you got involved with this person but yet because you were so invested in this person you know you fell hard i feel like you did feel really hard you miss those messages yum the sexual chemistry is so powerful that it, he awakened the romantic and then the animal inside of you it can be dangerous if not handled with care now this person has a fetish and you may have actually been into that fetish happy times you're entering a happy cycle. You did the work and overcame so much. Now it's your turn to receive in a major way. It's time. You've had enough lessons. So you spirit saying you're going to be going into happier times here, guys. Love, sacrifice. Don't sacrifice yourself in seeking love. You'll end up unhappy and hating yourself for it. Be with someone who makes you feel good. Wow. Uh, answer the call when he calls answer the call don't let pride keep your love broken when your heart wants to fix it try it they might be worth a second chance that's for some of you okay but what i'm getting a strong message here is if they do call this may be an opportunity for you to get this off your chest how you feel you know you can tell them about yourself so you get that closure 
You know, it could even be someone else that wants to go out on a date with you, you know, and Spirit's saying, answer that call, go on that date, because you do have happier times. Oh boy, kids, love can get real complicated when children are involved. Give them space and time to sort things out and do the right thing in the right way, and that is the thing. They, I do really feel, feel that this person has kids. Already ready-made family, like I said. Hmm. So I'm going to get you some of these messages before we finish as well. So tell me more for group two. There's no contact. Okay, you, mm, I've got four. So many messages for you guys. Wow. Keep moving forward, even if you're unsure of your next step or where it may take you. Trust that you are, walk, you are walking the path you are meant to walk. Remember, we are walking with you. Trust yourself more. And then you have trust yourself more again. <laughs> know that you are in the right place at the right time. Opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to. All in divine timing. Get excited about the future again instead of fearing it. This is what I feel this might be it happening here. You may end up maybe meeting someone else. Those difficult times will pass. Nothing bad lasts forever. The sun will shine again. The birds will sing and the clouds will clear. And you will be glad you kept moving forward. You will soon be rewarded for your patience. Hold on. You are far stronger than you think. Wow. Something is definitely coming for you, group two. Take some time to rest and rejuvenate. You need the space you need to pace yourself with the changes that are coming your way. They are all positive. Wow. Bigger and better things are coming for you. Just relax and trust. Wow. That is amazing. Let's get you some tea leaf cards here. Let's see what else is around the corner. Two, please for a little bit more. Let's get a couple more. Oh no, not that many. Okay, we we'll take that one. Let's turn over. Wow. So you have the star guarantee success. So you know the star is all about wishes. And dreams um, and our hopes so you know you do have something come in there so some wish is going to be fulfilled fulfilled someone is behaving stupidly so someone in your life is acting like an idiot okay it could be this person firecracker excitement there you go that spirit was just saying there's something very exciting around the corner wind chimes peace and harmony yep you're entering a peaceful stage you've already got that card a dark man dealings with a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair so this could be someone who you are going to meet it doesn't have to be a man it can be their energies okay vine seek out information that will help you and then lightning control your anger or you will be sorry okay so look you got those two cards there so spirit is asking you to seek out more information that's going to help you understand something before you react because you know you could end up really freaking out and then you could be sorry as well so there's a little warning there so let's get you some angel numbers or angel number for who's around you in time of this reading You know, maybe this person told you they were going to leave their partner and then they didn't, you know, gave you all that, wow, that number, hang on. They gave you all these false hopes and then decided I'm going to play it safe, it's better, you know, I know where my bread is buttered basically. Now, I said look up angel number 333, you got angel number 3333. And I said at the beginning, I just kept hearing, it comes in freeze, it comes in freeze. Or freeze a crowd. It's weird. Angel of of authenticity, uh, Tabaris. Tabaris celebrates your unique essence. Show the world your true self. Embrace your originality and stand proud in your authenticity. I can't even can say it. True self, honesty, and originality. And that's what this angel is asking you to do. Be true to yourself here. Be honest with yourself. So look up that name. Uh, name. 
look up that angel number guys because you've the threes were very important in your reading so question time any question you want so for group two please spirit not this not in this lifetime the time has come to let go of this situation allow your angels to show you the way okay so my loves thank you so much for staying and watching guys i really appreciate you all and if you're new here please consider subscribing and if you don't mind giving a thumbs up it really does help the channel and you guys wherever you are you have a beautiful day much love hey group three so if you chose the bear bear <laughs> this is your reading so let's see Away. Oh, okay so this is number two events and this energy is feeling a loss here this is like the three of wands you know missing you um could even be waiting may even be feeling the loss of what could have been you know something that they let pass by when it came to you group three um yeah, it's kind of sad energy though. Let's have a look. Hmm. So tell me, Spirit, more about this lost card. Why no contact from this energy? Group three, why has there been no contact? So we're going to look at no contact. Um, what is going on with them and will they reach out? Okay. Oh my God. Three of wands and i just said this was this reminded me of the three of wands and now it's in reverse and the king of swords in reverse oh the king of swords in reverse is not a good look no my king of swords when he's in reverse and i'm saying he because it's a he card okay is a narcissist somebody who is very very abusive so trigger warning here guys um hmm it's someone who could be very aggressive at times very controlling has no integrity integrity this could have been someone that actually may have left you for somebody else And then the three of wands in reverse speaks of someone that is being restricted from coming forward. So it could be spirit that's um, not allowing this person to come forward. But it could also be someone that is returning as well when it's in reverse. They want to return. But this king of swords is what's the worrying thing here. What is this? Tell me about the Three of Wands in reverse and this King of Swords in reverse. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is what is this Three of Wands? Um, the King of Swords. So that's the Nine of Pentacles. Death. The Lovers. Oh, Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups, which was on the back of the deck, the Queen of Wands. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay, so this energy left you for somebody else. Oh, just put you there. My God, I'm wrecking the place. Yeah, this energy left you for someone else, group three. Because my Queen of Wands is seen as the other person, the other woman or the other man. Um, and then we've got the Three of Swords right next to it. And my Three of Swords is seen as the third party. Heartbreak, separation, leaving someone for someone else. Um, they betrayed you here with the Ten of Swords. And then we've got the Lovers here. And that betrayal was choosing another partner over you. And now they want to return. cheek what absolute cheek they could have gone through you know we are look i will look at why like what is going on with them but i am seeing sort of what is going on with them he 
could be that then maybe they are going through a breakup with this person that's why they're hoping you know to maybe have a chance to return or to reach out here but it could be even be you've moved on with someone else It's like I'm hearing this person say, I thought I loved this person. You know, this energy is seeing you doing really, really well for yourself, okay? You've built a life for yourself here. <laughs> You're doing great. You moved on. You you know, they see you as being changed. Um, they may feel like they've changed. But death is all about an ending, you know, moving on. And that's what they did. They moved on. Wow. You know, moving on from you, group three, literally broke their heart in the process. What an idiot, honestly. They literally thought they were going to meet someone that, that, or not meet someone... They really thought, this is really getting on my nerves, they really thought um, the grass was greener on the other side, but it's not. That's why they're, they're, they're literally feeling this loss. And this is so strange, okay, because look at the way he's holding the rope. Obviously, the rope sh should be tethered to the boat. The boat's literally gone off. It's 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 drifting. So this energy could be drifting at the moment, but it's like, he's watching this boat go off into the sunset without him and now he's stuck with what a bit of rope when you know car the ship a ship's cargo is their treasure okay you know in the olden days all the treasure was at the bottom and you were the treasure and this is what they're literally seeing sailing off into the sunset so let's find out what's going on with this person so this is why there's no contact, okay? Because it looks like they are still involved with someone. They are heartbroken. It doesn't look like it's going very, very well. It looks like it's turned out to be an absolute bloody disaster. So we do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Gemini. Tell me what is going on. Um, what's happening with this energy here? What is going on with them? So we have the Seven of Wands. Why the Seven of Wands? What is going on with them? Oh, Queen of Swords. I feel like this person's going through a divorce. Like I said, something's come to an end here. The Moon. They've had to put really strong boundaries in place with the person that they're involved with. Now, this energy could be experiencing like for like, you know, a bit of karma here. Maybe the person they got involved with is just like the way they were with you. They've got themselves in a situation here with this Queen of Swords. It's just it's not a good look here, okay? This, this is the same energy that's coming through with this person they got involved with. And this Queen of Swords is really, like, um, very cruel to this person. Tell me more about what is going on. Oof. Swords. This person's not in a good place. The Wheel of Fortune Karma. Yeah, Eight of uh, Cups. They've they've had to. Uh, yeah. This is this is they're going for an absolute disaster at the moment. Okay, they could be going for a separation or a divorce. Like I said, they're not. Then that's why they're experiencing loss as well. Um. And it's like now they want to return to you. Because it didn't work out. Are you bloody joking? This person feels trapped in a situation. 
here it could be even if they're not going through a divorce okay they want a divorce they want a separation they just want this to be done that they're, they're, they're so sick of it being so toxic and they want to up and leave and that but they want to return to you because they realize that they messed up here you know this is part of their karma that they're going through um the tables have turned on this person with the wheel of fortune and it's now they're experiencing bad luck Oh my goodness, wow. So tell me spirit, um, will they reach out to group? I don't think you would really even really want to hear from this person, group three, I don't know why I said two. Um, maybe there is actually group two, mm, there may actually be your story in group two, but that's up to you whether you want to go watch it, okay? So tell me, will... They reach out to group three, ten of pentacles. So, oh. Eight of pentacles. This is in reverse as well. Five of swords. They want to find a peaceful resolution here, okay? They wanna they wanna end the silence okay they want to end the conflict between you both but this eight of pentacles in reverse speaks of uh having the confidence to do it it's like they lack the confidence it could be you've already got a family okay you could have already built up a life for yourself built a life here with somebody else um but it also could be there <laughs> The reason why they lack confidence is if they were to chance this, they could ruin their Ten of Pentacles. So maybe this person comes from generational wealth. Maybe their partner that they got involved with comes from money. You know, this person could already have a family. Tell me more about will they reach out or not. It's, they don't lack the confidence. They want to. Five of Cups. Is that the Five of Cups? No, four of cups, sorry. They, yeah, they want to let go of this regret of, um, this is a very weird card, actually. It's literally what I was saying about this person. They want to let go of that regret. They want it, they they feel like if they were to talk to you this regret of letting go of you will ease whatever is going on with them things this this energy is stuck in coming forward and, and communicating this with you i don't know what they actually want from you here like what reassurance i don't know will they reach out i'm seeing a lot of no if you know what I mean, um, they want to, but they don't have the confidence to do it because it's like this energy is feeling, thinking like, you know, it is a bit of a cheek really for me to do that. They may have the audacity, you know, some people do. Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Jeez. And the Hangman. See, look, they feel like they sacrificed what they had with you here instead of, um, you know, making it work with you here as well. They also regret the fact that you, you know, they, that you guys separated, okay? That they may have divorced you or separated from you here. And you haven't seen or heard from this person in such a long time and they are very unhappy and they are exhausted of going over of what is lost here you know back and forwards back and forwards with their their emotions here it's like they can't seem to get it under control so i don't see this person actually contacting you uh group three i see they would just keep it to themselves they would like to end the silence between both of you they really would love love that they would love to let go of the regret but it's like it could be part of their karma that they can't let go of the regret 
you know you've got you made your bed you've got to lie in it now so it's like just literally looking at you from afar so now i don't see this person reaching out at all so let's have a look what is going on tell me more why no contact for it i mean they may they may you know be brave enough unavailable I know you're a catch and I love your company, but I just want to have fun and keep my options open. But then I see this as they're unavailable because they're already in a commitment or they're in a mess. Distraction. I got distracted by someone else I'm dating. I'm sorry. And that's like literally what happened, you know, happens between you both. I wouldn't call it a distraction, though. Tell me more about no contact. Rejection. I felt my advances were reciprocated. Um, this is just projection right now, guys. They're projecting, saying that it's like they're coming up with excuses. I mean, it's like literally if this person was to reach out, it's like they're saying to themselves, how would I actually explain this to group three? There isn't really an explanation for it. Immature, I just love the thrill of the chase. Once I knew I had you, I lost interest. Immature, I was testing you to see if you would chase me. I wanted to see if you liked me as much as I liked you. Now I re regret my actions. Tell me more about this. No contact for group three, please, spirit. there spirit is saying not for you so this energy is not for you telepathic i close my eyes and speak to you in a hundred silent ways and you know this person could be communicating with you telepathically no escape it doesn't matter how far my heart always runs back to you there it is again can't be trusted overthinking i'm driving myself in thoughts of of you keep consuming me this is the problem karma Divinely guided, don't lose hope. So look, they're not, they don't, they don't want to lose hope here, but I feel like it's lost already. I, I literally am hearing there's no coming back from this for you. I really want to talk to you, but I am too scared. Yeah, that's come out. I want to turn up at your house. Please don't do that. <laughs> Tell me more about no contact from this person. You are my soulmate. See, they're all only realising this now. And I feel like they only realised this once they realised who the person they got involved with was just as toxic as they were. Accept it, I've moved on. And that may have been like their attitude at the time, you know, just accept it, I've moved on, you know. Or even though you've, you're left there picking up the pieces... You haunt my dreams. Oh, yeah. I fear your reaction if I reach out to you. There it is. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. So what else from this energy? Please throw it for group three. Sneaky behaviour. Sneaky, sneaky internet behaviour could be hiding porn secret account or lust browsing. A sneaky behaviour again. They are engaging in some risky behaviour. Be sure to protect yourself and be safe. So, you know, there was a lot of sneakiness with this energy. Manipulation. They say one thing and do another, giving you mixed messages. You know, this is the energy when you were with them, okay? Um, and plus also, I feel like this is the energy that they would still do this, even today. Cheating. There's heavy flirting via text or sexting taking place, perhaps even more. Bad traits, paranoia, suffering from paranoia, just waiting for you to slip up or be unfaithful is driving them mad. So, you know, that could have been... That bad traits there could have been with... They may have projected, accused you of cheating, hoping that you were cheating so you could... Then they can say, right, okay, good, I'm going, you know, and then that guilt is not there. But when people, some people... When some people cheat and then they leave you for that person, 
don't think they're, they're, that guilt is not there. Some people don't care, okay? They've got no feelings, got no heart, but there are the ones that do suffer with that guilt. Cheating, fetish craving, they're about having their one specific fetish sexual act. So maybe they are cheating on their partner. Control, they're trying to control you because they don't trust you. Backstabbing, careful who you trust, they're up to no good. Yeah. Nice energy, that. Let's get you some tea leaves. See what's around the corner for you guys. The not unsuccessful plans. That's the thing. Their, their plans, everything, literally, didn't, they didn't succeed in anything here except misery. Weeping willow, family sorrow. There you go. You know, they could have actually experienced a death in their family as well. So, you know, they could be going through that, but I didn't want to go into too much detail because I don't like to talk about that sort of thing. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. And that is the thing. You did come out wiser out of this, okay? It took you a long time to get to that position that you're in right now, group three. Um, yeah. Yeah, good news. So you will be receiving some kind of good news. And it could be coming from a fair woman dealing or relationship with a woman with blonde or grey hair or white hair. So you may receive good news from someone like that. Let's see who's around you. What angel is with you? Oh. Angel of Compassion Muriel 787. Muriel, Muriel wraps you in a compassionate embrace. Oh. Dive deep into your emotions and extend kindness both to yourself and others emotion sensitivity and kindness so you've you you're getting hugs from your angel <laughs> that's lovely <clears throat> so any question you want group three so for group three please spirit So you've got in August, allow others to help you and you'll increase your chances for success. But then you've got time interference. There are other people's free will affecting this situation. So whatever you ask for, that, that's an important message. Okay, my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I appreciate you all. Um, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And if you don't mind giving the video a thumbs up, it really helps. And you guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love.